Un beau moment de se rassembler. This is either a shining moment of putting partisanship aside or pure politics. Mes collègues pour accepter mon invitation. The plan to discuss Doug Ford's cuts to programs for Franco-Ontarians, a provincial issue that's led to federal finger pointing. This morning, it seemed like that was going to change. We had a harsh time in the partisanship debate in the last two weeks. We all recognized that, uh, but now it's time to move on. I'm looking forward to meeting with uh, all the different party leaders uh, to talk about how uh, we need to, at the federal level, be uh, united and above partisanship. But by mid-afternoon, the whiff of partisanship was back when the Prime Minister brought this up in the middle of an English answer about the carbon tax. Ça fait 14 jours que le gouvernement conservateur en Ontario a, a, coupé, a sabré dans les services aux francophones. Ça fait 14 jours que le chef de l'opposition ne me pose pas une question euh, sur cet enjeu important. So what did the meeting itself accomplish? That's a useful symbolic statement to governments that might not think that there is support right around the political spectrum. Though it seems Ford was not won over by the symbolism. Stop your talking and start doing something. All they do up there is talk. And they couldn't agree on the right way to revive plans for a francophone university. I think we need to actually propose something concrete to put more pressure on the provincial government. The Conservatives in Ontario need to uh, step up and make sure that they make uh, the demand to the federal government. And she wrapped up the non-partisan meeting with a swipe saying Andrew Scheer wasn't doing enough to pressure Ford to protect francophones. Now, whether Mr. Scheer will go and say it as clearly as uh, we would like him to do, it's up to him to actually answer that question. So much for unity. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.